Uh, my name is Phil Chu, and I'm the coach of the BC Disabled Ski Team. My job is to recruit athletes onto the BC Ski Team and uh, teach them to take skiing to another level. I lost my leg in 1977. I had cancer, so I had my leg amputated. And then after a year of chemotherapy, I, started, I heard about skiing and I started skiing. And I only skied twice before my injury, uh, before I had my leg amputated. But, so I didn't really know how to do it. And so I learned after I had my amputation. Over the next five years, I trained quite hard and got into skiing and uh, managed to make the national ski team. And then I was involved in three Paralympics and a couple of world championships and many, many World Cups. And uh, finally, after the Albertville Olympics in 92, I retired and started coaching. I'm uh, Pete Crutchfield. I've been skiing since I was three. My parents threw me on skis and uh, I've been skiing ever since. Uh, back in 96, I broke my neck here on Whistler. I didn't want anything to do with the adaptive equipment for the first few years because I didn't think I'd be able to do what I could before. And uh, that was stupid, really. Because <laughs> uh, once I got in the sit ski, I learned that you know you can do pretty much anything you can standing up. There's really no limit to what you can do. It's amazing. First time you get on the snow, it just, it's hard to describe. It's just one of those unique feelings. You really have to do it to really understand it, but the easy answer, a lot of people compare it with sex, but I don't even think it's like that because you don't have to buy dinner in a movie to come up skiing. I've been doing the Peach Valley uh, race for quite a few years since it started. I think I've been in about over 10, but, and it's a hard race from the very top of Whistler to the very bottom of Whistler, and it's like 170 or 80 gates and I think it's the longest GS race in the world. And I think I'm the only one person with a disability that's ever really made it. It's uh, about eight kilometers long, and on one leg, that's a long way to go. So my best time is just over six minutes, which is pretty good time, I think. Every, bo every muscle I have in my body just about cramps up. And um, it's the hardest thing in ski racing that I've ever done but it's also the most satisfying when I'm finished. I'm glad it's over when it's done. It's a, it's a tough race. Probably one of the most frustrating things about it is that people often just sort of assume, you know, they, they sort of pat on the head sort of thing, like, oh, it's good to see you out and do all this thing, especially on the hill, actually. You get that a lot, like, comments like, oh, wow, you ski even as well as I do. We just, we're happy if you just treat us normally, like, just don't, don't think that you've got to even think anything about it. It's just a wheelchair. It's just a little bit makes it tougher getting downstairs. Some people have difficulty with math. I have difficulty with stairs. You know, that's about it. After the accident, a lot of people said, oh, what a tragedy that it happened. But personally, I always thought it would have been more of a tragedy if I spent my life being afraid of what could have happened. The memories I've got from what I did is stuff that will be with me forever. And I can't imagine living life in fear of what might happen and then you know you, you walk down the street and get smoked by a drunk driver or something like that so anything can happen at any time right so you might as well live it while we got it that's a tough question what would I be doing if I wasn't skiing does water skiing count? <laughs>